Hey, old man. What are you doing? What are you doing? You sleeping on all the dolls? <laughs> It's SJ and welcome back to the dollhouse dreams. I'm joined today by LA and we just got two of the new Disney Illy dolls. We got the Snow White inspired one and Tiana and the Tiana or Princess and the Frog inspired one. And we're going to go ahead and open them up and see how they look because we're really super excited for this line. I am super, super excited. So we already reviewed the Princess Jasmine inspired doll. And in case you're wondering what she's wearing, she's wearing the shirt from the Sleeping Beauty Aurora fashion pack. And I put her in some tie-dyed um, pants. pants from a Barbie fashion pack. And they fit really well. And she's wearing the boots from the Sleeping Beauty Aurora fashion pack. The stand is a rainbow high stand that I had an extra of because these dolls sadly do not come with stands. But as you can see, she fits pretty well on the stand for the rainbow high dolls. Waist clip fits fine. So just in case you're wondering what kind of stand will work for them and if Barbie clothes will work for them, they work great. Here is the Snow White inspired princess doll. She is super cute. Uh, freckles. The freckles is what got me. I love dolls that have freckles. We have the same balloon this time. But it is a different color. But the Mickey face is red. Right. So the balloons are all different colors. Um, And I'll have to open it up and see what kind of surprise we get in there. Comes with a little pair of sunglasses. A blue, yellow, and red backpack that are kind of the colors of Snow White. Mm -hmm. This cardigan, I'm excited for this little cardigan. It's so cute because I like the apples. And there's Miss Snow White. And the barcode for these is on the back. Is right here on the back. Um, I got these from Target. So, like I said, the last one, the Princess Jasmine one that I had, that came from the Disney store. So, like I said, I don't know if the barcode on the Disney store dolls is a little different than the barcode on the Target ones. There's the back with all of them. We already have, now we have Tiana and her, and we already have her. Yep. So let's go ahead and open her. Yeah, let's get Look started. That ring light action around her face. All right, so here is our Snow White inspired princess doll out of the box. She was $29.99 at Target and on Target.com. However, the fashion packs, I believe, are $15.99 or $16.99 on ShopDisney.com and in the Disney store, but they are $14.99 at Target and at Target.com. So the fashion packs are about, you know, $2 cheaper than they would be if you bought them at Shop Disney or the Disney store. Go ahead and take a look at the items she came with. So she came with this backpack. It is like an all-over blue color with red and yellow stripe right here and a little apple apple keychain the straps they're like little suede type material straps and i believe it opens so yeah it opens so you could kind of put something in there if you wanted to cute little backpack she came with a little pair of sunglasses with a little they're red a little bow right here on one of the frames and she came with this cardigan this is a fabric cardigan and it's a decent quality fabric apples all over it super cute cardigan she also came with the Mickey balloon and there is a surprise, surprise inside so you just open right here Let's go ahead and see what we got. Go ahead and open it, LA. Okay. All right, so this is everything that you could get inside the Mickey balloon. And we've already gotten the candy apples in the Princess Jasmine inspired doll. What do we get in this one? A Mickey waffle, can I hold it? You wanna hold it? Here's the Mickey waffle. Yep, and 
size comparison to the doll. So it's... Yeah. I don't remember Mickey Waffles being that big. Mm-hmm. Like, when we go. I don't... And there's the little cream for the um, Mickey Waffle Whip for the strawberry. Yep. Super detailed. Like, this actually looks like a Mickey Waffle that you get when you go to Disney. I just don't remember them being that big, that big on the plate. But we haven't been since last year. So, who, who knows? The back just says Disney made in China. Here is our Snow White inspired princess doll up close. Now, I just want to say these are not new versions of the Disney princesses. This is what is called Disney bounding. Now, as adults, we cannot go to Disneyland or Disney World in a full on princess costume as that takes away kids. the magic from, from well, kids. From kids. So adults have pretty much found a way around it where they find outfits that are inspired by the Disney princess or Disney character that they are trying to emulate. You can see right here she has the iconic mini ears with the yellow bow in the middle and glittery blue detail and then the little red in the side. Her face is what is so beautiful to me and her hair. I like the Mickey ears. She's got this braid right here and these cute little tendrils hanging down painted on baby hairs and her freckles are just so beautiful. She does not come with earrings, but if you get a fashion pack that has earrings in them, you can put the earrings in. She has a little gold necklace on that has um, what looks like the poison apple from the Snow White movie. She has on a little red poof sleeve top and this, I'm not sure what fabric this is, but it, it does not feel like, like a little cotton material. It actually feels like decent material fabric. She has on blue overalls there's a functional pocket up here at the top, and then she has little deconstructed raw edge hem detail right here. Her white socks have um, yellow and, and blue, blue stripe. Her shoes has a little bow. They're red with a little bow on the front. Back, everything is held together Bye. by Velcro. And the necklace is a poison apple. Yep. Here is our Snow White inspired Illy doll with the glasses on her face. Now ours are sitting a little crooked, but that could just be our doll. It might be different on yours. Here is her adorable cardigan. I cannot get over how adorable this cardigan looks. Let's go ahead and take a look at her articulation so she can bend her elbow, arm, you know, pivots hand she can move again these hands do not come off if you try to pull them off like the rainbow shadow high or monster high dolls you're basically breaking your doll her head side to side make her look up like she's staring up at the fireworks or she can look down yep she can look down it turns you can turn it all the way around if you want to her legs, she can go up, all the way up. She does have ankle articulation, goes out that far. This is about as far as they go out. If you go any further out, they can pop off, but it's really easy to put back on because it's just like a little ball joint right there and they just pop right back in. She, that's about as good as they sit. They don't really sit well like the Rainbow High and monster high so keep that in mind because you can bend her legs and that's that's about as good as she sits let me get a chair so i can so show you here that. she is sitting in one of the chairs from the rainbow high dorm house I mean, just kind of because she yeah <laughs> that's mm -hmm. about as good as she sits yeah so keep that in mind if you do want to do doll photography with these guys they don't have the best sitting ability. Now the Velcro on these dolls is something that's pretty amazing to me because the way they have sewn the Velcro onto the clothes makes it to where when the clothes, when you Velcro them closed, the clothes don't look bulky and 
baggy they like have a pretty decent snug fit to them that still offers mobility and you don't hear the velcro coming loose as you move them so i really wish whatever disney did with this velcro i really wish like other doll companies would incorporate into their clothing pieces because it's pretty cool concept overall i still think the new illy or i love you forever disney fashion dolls are just completely worth the price i mean we are getting a fully articulated doll that comes with you know amazing clothing pieces a little mystery uh toy and accessories and like i said plus there are accessory and fashion packs for these guys like disney went all out didn't see these coming at all they just released them and we we love them and we can't say enough good stuff about them how do you feel about them good good just good very good because i really like the jacket you like the jacket and the surprise in it you like the surprise toy concept yeah and i wish it scented you wish they were scented that would be yeah. really cool if they were scented like the mickey waffle really smelled like a yeah, mickey waffle the dole whip sm really smelled and like a the pineapple candy apple and the lollipops and all of that yeah and the popcorn well i hope you guys enjoyed this review we'll probably review the princess tiana princess and the frog inspired illy doll tomorrow uh, <sighs> but like comment surprise 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 <laughs> like comment subscribe all that good stuff we love you and we hope to see you in the next one love you bye bye have a good day have a good day